Glory to God. Now, you walking in a, a breakup with the ability to agree with lack and poverty, to be stricken by poverty, and to accept closed doors as if it's normal, but fighting a good fight of faith to obtain the money you're supposed to have in this life. Bible says something powerful in Ecclesiastes. It says something powerful in Ecclesiastes that money is a defense. I think that's Ecclesiastes 7. That money is a defense. Ecclesiastes 7, 12. That money is a defense. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12. That money is a defense. Now, saints, watch this here. That word defense is dealing with that it will advocate for you and block off attacks. It will stand up for you. So if money is a defense, it means that this is a side of God in which he blocks off the attacks that the enemy wants to do to you. He uses money as a battle weapon. So in this life, the spirit of God will bring you into a wisdom to walk in money. It's the glory realm of God to walk in this financial power. He'll show you how to do it and how to explore the depths of it because there's more levels than one. As you can see, Abram life, he's very rich in Genesis chapter 13, but that's not the end of the story. Abraham keeps going further in the blessing. So think about it. There's something happening with Abraham where he's going deeper and deeper in the blessing. So Abraham is walking in supernatural power in the area of provision. Now, saints, that's what happens when the blessing of Abraham comes on you. Provisional power to get evidence, get harvests start coming on you. Prosperity angels are invisible people. They're invisible pay people. They are invisible spirits. They work in the invisible realm, bringing prosperity and bringing supernatural success to the child of God. They work in the invisible realm. And they bring money to you. Prosperity angels are surrounding your prophet of God. And see, that's something that is the agenda of God when he connects you to your prophet. He wants prosperity angels to move with you. That's why he brings you in the midst of the prophet, because he wants the prosperity angels to move with you. So he strategically plants you around the prophet. Because the prophet is going to be a transference system for prosperity angels to get to your life, to move with you, to work things out for you. So saints, here's the supernatural thing. Prosperity angels already know how to bring God's plan of provision to you. They work through strategies. They work through downloads. There are scrolls that prosperity angels give to you where they're able to impart things to your spirit. Have you think in a certain way or have you receive an opportunity? Prosperity angels are often unlocking things for you. That's why you have to be in praise and thanksgiving because when you're flowing with your prophet, now all you have to do is you praise God and rejoice before God because those prosperity angels are doing battle in the invisible realm. Prosperity angels are responsible for unlocking situations that will bring you good news. Prosperity angels, they, they bring things into manifestation that will make you happy. That's what they do. They bring things into manifestation that will make you rejoice. And they'll cause your mind 
to be inspired when you wake up. They'll cause your mind to be inspired no matter what issue comes your way. They will give you a mindset of extreme determination. Now, saints, where do we see the prosperity angels? In Genesis chapter 24. Remember the word of God talks about in Genesis chapter 24, started talking about how um, Abram told his servant, the angel shall prosper your way. Now, saints, that was for a relationship for Isaac. So imagine prosperity angels, they are also relationship bringers. They bring relationships into your life that are God's will. Zipporah, my daughter had this happen, uh, Hainsley wife. Because she found herself meeting people that were established in the field where she's gifted and she found favor with them. See, prosperity angels that work with me all the time, unlocking things for me, are working with her because she's so into me. So because she blesses me, they're blessing her in her path. And that happens to all of you all, by the way, that follow me. I'm just giving you an example in real time of something that, that's, you know, prosperity angels, what they do is they, they reward you with relationships that progress you financially. Hallelujah. This good stuff, man. Robo sandele vio. Robo sandele via. This some good stuff. Prosperity angels, they reward you with relationships that those relationships bring you further in your finances, further in your peace, further in your money, further in your opportunities. That's what prosperity angels do. When prosperity angels are in your life, they will be responsible for unraveling things that benefit you. They are the benefit carriers of God. Remember how Psalm 68 say that, uh, remember the Lord that, oh, no, no, no. It says um, he daily loads you with benefits in Psalm 68 verse 19. Well, that's what those prosperity angels do. They load you with benefits. They bring you into benefits. They bring you into increase. They prosper you. Now, saints, when we're dealing with prosperity angels, they are around your prophet. So your prophet is strategically planted in your life to teach you, to talk to you, to sow into you, to work in your soul, your mind, and to preach the gospel to you so that you could now respond to your prophet with loyalty, obedience, servanthood, focus, receptivity, continuance. Because as you invest your life in the direction of your prophet, these prosperity angels are the reward of the prophet. Remember what God told Abram, I bless those that bless you. I bless those that bless you. Genesis chapter 12, verse three, I bless those that bless you. Genesis 12, 3. He said, I'll bless those that bless you. So what it, remember, Abram is a prophet. So he's saying, those that bless you as my prophet, I'm going to bless them. That's how it works. Your prophet is a gift to your life because God's saying, if you treat them right, I'll bring heaven on earth for you. I'll deal with what you want and make it a reality. Saints, I'm going to say this to you like this. I know that a lot of times we got all these standards and things that we talk about as sin and not of God and not of God. But I want to tell you like this. Hear me. Hear me. And just remember this. 
When God is giving you the desire of your heart, he's giving you the desire of your heart. That's just point blank. There's really no limit to that. There's really no limit to that. There's really none. When you delight yourself in the Lord, he gives you the desires of your heart. You got our desire to have 14 bedrooms in the house. Somebody say, well, why you need all those bedrooms? He give you the desires of your heart. Now, saints, he not going to give you 14 bedrooms tomorrow. You know why? Because you're learning the etiquette of what God blesses you with, how to protect it. So when you have 14 bedrooms, you're going to have temptations because you're going to be in a position where you want to uh, you want to invite people over to your house and say, you can sleep here tonight. You can't do that. So. You get the 14 bedrooms in due time when God sees fit. Now, here's what God will do. He'll test you with with two bedrooms, one bedroom. He'll watch how you do. You be faithful over a few things. He make you rule over much. Some of you are, you got a dream car. The father may give you bread for food. See that realm of bread for food. That means that he'll sustain you until what you really want comes. So saints, remember what second Corinthians nine say, he'll give you bread for food. So here's the bread for food. He'll, he'll show you. He'll show you. Something that will sustain you until what you actually want comes. So watch this here. Say you say you want a 14 bedroom mansion. Here's what the Lord going to do. You might move out your apartment. You might move out your apartment to a place you're renting there uh, a place where, you know, a lot of not, 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 um, is not what you saw officially. And God going to see how do you handle this? God going to see how you take care of the house. Sometimes our harvests or our, uh, uh, sometimes your dreams are bigger than your discipline. Are you hearing me? Because then when you get the big old place, now you have all these temptations. Okay, I want to have somebody over here now. I want, I want to do this. I want, I want to go. I want to bring somebody in here. Let, let me, and, and now the dream is bigger than the discipline. So that's what the Lord does. He pits you in a place where you can work your way up. He don't give you things immediately. If you faith over a few things, he make you rule over much. So he's going to give you a, a portion and see how you deal with it. Remember, Matthew 25, these men were created for riches and wealth. But what does he do? He gives a man one portion of money. That's five talents. Uh, another portion of money. That's two talents. Another portion of money. That's, that's, uh, that's one talent. So he gave them money amounts, even though they was destined for riches. He gave them a, a portion, a large portion to see what they was going to do. Would they listen to his voice with it? That's what God does. Now, saints, I want you to hear this. They said that one talent is about one point. Four million dollars. So one talent. I told you this before. I talked about this before. About the talent. This man had 1.4 million dollars. And dug it in the ground. One million four hundred thousand. 
and he did it so. Are you seeing this? So in life, that's what God does. He, he gives you an amount and see what you're going to do with it. Why that man didn't so? He should have sold. He had 1.4 million plus. And see, this is, this is what the father doesn't want to happen with you. You can't choke on what you're taught even when the increase come in. Because the increase going to come in. So I, I got to talk to you in the area because increase coming in for a lot of people in the ministry already. Increase been coming in for years now. That's why a lot of people, you know, they, 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 they are experiencing an open heaven right now. And we're going to see it intensify, increase going into my birthday. Because we heading into a new year. Do y'all understand that we step into 2022 next month? You understand that, right? We stepping into 2022 next month. You think about that. Next month, we stepping in to wealth, health, fresh prosperity, fresh angelic ministry. And this is all going to be happening next month. So get ready for this. Prosperity angels. <laughs> 